Hello and welcome to Run Testers. My name's Nick. In this video, we're going to be comparing two of our favourite cushion shoes, the Brooks Glycerin 20 and the New Balance Fresh Foam X More V4. So these are both big cushion shoes designed to deliver a lot of comfort and protection on your runs. The Glycerin's the more expensive shoe of the two, it's £155 in the UK, $160 in the US, whereas the New Balance More V4 is £140 in the UK and $150 in the US. They weigh a very similar amount in my UK size 9, uh, the Glycerin is 314 grams or 11 ounces, whereas the More V4 is 316 grams or 11.1 ounces. They both have a 34mm stack of foam at the heel, but with the Brooks you're getting a 10mm drop to 24 millimeters at the forefoot, whereas the Morvi 4 has a 4 millimeter drop to 30 millimeters at the forefoot. The Glycerin has a pretty standard engineered mesh upper with loads of padding around the heel and tongue to really deliver a nice amount of step-in comfort there. You've got, you've got a super critical nitrogen-infused midsole called DNA Loft version 3, which, which is a very light and poppy and comfortable foam. And then on the outsole, you've got generous rubber coverage, which delivers plenty of grip in all conditions and is nice and durable as well. The Morvi 4 also has an engineered mesh upper with some reflective detail and a good amount of padding around the uh, collar and tongue there. You know, plenty of padding, just not quite as much as the Brooks, perhaps. You've got a Fresh Foam X midsole with high sidewalls on both sides of the shoe to deliver a bit more stability given the high stack of foam here and you've also got a very pronounced rocker profile with the New Balance Fresh Foam more, more so than on the Glycerin. It's, with that low drop in the rocker it's designed to just keep you flowing forward. Something aided by the big groove you have here in the middle of the outsole at the heel and then on the outsole you've got pretty good rubber coverage at the forefoot and heel. All the key areas are covered with a hard wearing rubber. It's just perhaps not quite as extensive as the coverage on the Glycerin 20. Okay, I'm joined by Tom now, also known as the New Balance More V4's biggest fan. Um, talk about the fit first, Tom. How do you find the fit of these two shoes? Uh, so the New Balance More V4 fits true to size for me. It's a bit, a bit of a roomy issue, but I definitely stay stay true to size in it. Uh, and the Brooks Glycerin 20, again, very comfortable shoe. Definitely stick true to size in that as well. Yeah, same for me. No concerns at all about fit. Really well designed shoes with nice uppers. True to size for me, perfect amount of room, good hold around the midfoot and heel, so no concerns there. Right, we're going to head on to the run test. I'm not going to keep holding these shoes because the Morvi 4 is quite dirty. It's been winter here. Uh, Tom, uh, talk about the performance of these two shoes. I think we would both agree are right up there as some of the best cushion shoes you'll find on the market. Yeah, I, I think in all of the running shoes that we test, all the different categories, I think cushion shoes has become the most the most difficult to, to, to really sort of choose which ones you like more or less because over the past year we've had some fantastic shoes uh, Triumph 20, Brooks Lister in 20, the New Balance More uh, V4 and lots of other ones that really have just improved and they're all fantastic like um, if, if I got any of, of those shoes uh, as my long run cushion trainer I'd, I'd be over the moon they're all great um, but I think, uh, so what I would say about, I've done quite a lot of miles in the uh, uh, Brooks Glycerin 20 um, I, over the year. Really enjoy that shoe. I think it is um, a really comfortable, nice uh, cruising shoe. It, the new nitrogen infused midsole foam in there is a big improvement on the previous models. Um, it's just got a lovely, lovely bit of softness in it, but it, without losing any bounce or anything like that it's just very nice to run in very comfortable and i actually i ended up running in the brooks glittering 20 um in, i did a race in it uh not not intentionally but i didn't have any race shoes so i used that and i did pretty well it it, it got it was quite good once it got a bit of momentum going it was a bit more versatile than i'd expect um definitely more versatile than some of the older versions as well so i really i love the brooks glittering 20 i if, if you're looking for a cushion shoe, it's a great option. Um, you can't go wrong with it. The New Balance Small V4 is much of the same, really. It's a fantastic cushion shoe that just feels really great on the foot. It's so nice to put your feet in and just can start going out for a long, enjoyable run. Um, and you just don't, you just forget about it on your feet. Um, but what I would say about the More V4 in comparison to the Brooks Glycerin 20 is I think the, there's, it just feels like there's a little bit more um bounce in this shoe for me a little bit more um responsiveness um and i i enjoy running the more v4 a, a bit more than the brooks collision 20 but it's very very slight difference in that and obviously see, i i i would go the opposite i 
do like these shoes, both of them very much. I think the Glycerin 20 has a bit more response for me. Um, and I'd say it probably is, books have made this version a little bit more versatile. It can do a greater variety of runs. It's almost they're trying to shift it into more of a daily ca- trainer category as a very cushioned shoe, obviously, to approach that category, whereas the more before really feels like an, an out and out cruiser of a shoe. And it does a fantastic job of that. Like, I. I think coming to running feel on the foot, it disappears in the foot more than the Glycerin 20 for me. Like when I am just going out, plodding along, uh, you know, the pace can vary a bit, but it's always quite easy, nice and relaxed. Any distance, it just, yeah, I can forget about it and just run and run and run, and it really feels very nice on the foot. Glycerin 20 is more noticeable, has a slightly more traditional feel. I think it's less of a rocker of a shoe, so you feel it a bit more than you do on the on the New Balance more, but it's a really nice feeling, and that foam just has a really great amount of pop to it. Like when you're just running along nice and easy, you don't really notice it. But if you do try and up the pace, and I've done some progression runs in the shoe and it just feels fantastic. It protects the legs really well and never bottoms out. That foam just gets feels great throughout the end for our tire run. And both of these shoes, I love look, going long in them in particular. And it's always a shoe that you want to carry on running in for a bit longer because it just feels really good underfoot. They both have a really nice balance of protecting the legs whilst also just helping you move forward uh, in you know, in an efficient but comfortable manner. Neither of them are all out versatile, obviously, but I do think the Brooks has a bit more edge in that department. I think it does have a bit more speed in it if you are going to use these as cushioned daily trainers. Like maybe you're a newer runner, have your run, you're looking at them as your shoe to do everything in and you just want the extra protection. I think the Brooks offers that a bit more, whereas I think the more V4 uh, is more of a enjoyable shoe for those pure easy runs. Yeah, I'd agree. It's interesting that you talk about the uh, Glycerin 20 becoming more of a daily shoe. We talked a bit about the Ghost 15 and the Brooks Glycerin 20 and how they've actually, their use is sort of merging together now as the Brooks Glycerin 20 advances in in how it, how it uh, the experience on the run. I think the, the more V4, it does feel like there's a lot more midsole in this. It's There's a wider base. Um, you can re- it really sort of nestles the foot into the ground when you land into it. Um, and I think that's what I like. I, I just love cushion shoes. I, the, the, the bigger, the better. But, but even though I say I love cushion shoes, I, the Invincible is a bit too cushioned for me. So there's a sweet spot for me. And I, the more V4 sort of gets that, it's got that just a nice balance. That Fresh Foam X midsole foam uh, at this level, at this, this stack height, it's just a lovely balance. It's, it's got the cushioning you want, but also it's not too soft like something like the Invincible. Yeah, I think one of the difference between two shoes comes in the uppers. Now, I'm not a big upper guy. Like, they don't bother me that much in the run. I don't tend to notice them that much. But I do think the Brooks has an amazing upper. Like, it's one of those shoes that you slip on. It's so padded and comfortable. And it just feels fantastic. Like, if I've been using shoes of, like, a firmer collar or something like that, or shoes that have irritated the top of my foot in some way, it really feels great to slip on the Brooks. It just really does feel nice on the top of the foot. The, the balance, New Balance Morphe 4 doesn't feel bad in any way, but the Brooks feels especially good. Although it has a lot of extra cushioning at the back, where maybe if you're running in a hot country, you're going to get a lot of sweat in that, and it might soak it up for a while. But yeah, I do think that's one other small difference is the upper. On the outsoles, the Brooks has more extensive outsole coverage, and that will probably help a durability down the line, but the Morphe 4 isn't really short in that department at all. I found its gripped really well, and I expect the durability is there too. So yeah, they're two very strong options. I said, probably the difference is more ride feel for me. The Morphe 4 does feel a bit more effortless flowing and rocking maybe more of a rocker there uh, whereas the brooks has a more traditional feel but i think you as a result get a bit more impact into the foam and a more pop from it coming back at you when you are running uh, and that's partly because i also think the foam is probably slightly better in the brooks but it doesn't seem to matter so much with the new balance because of the way it's shaped and the way it just rolls you through your foot strike Okay, Tom, verdict, uh, New Balance More V4 versus the Brooks Glycerin 20. What's your top pick? Uh, well, it's going to be the New Balance More V4, but <laughs> there's a is. reason for that. Uh, when we're on the run testers, when we do our verdict, we we have to look at it in, in two ways. One is your your personal preference on the shoe, and then one is objectively, you know, which, which is the best shoe in terms of the people that might use it and, and that sort of stuff. So I think... Like the um, Nike Invincible range, I think Nike Invincible range is a fantastic shoe, but I think it's a bit more of a specific shoe to a certain type of person. It's very soft, very cushioned, and if you really want that, that's that's perfect. Um, the New Balance Small V4, I think, fits more into that camp. I think it's a really great, uh, enjoyable, cushioned like cruising shoe it just has the right level of cushioning for me i like a lot of cushioning but i don't really want it to be so soft that it's just really slowing me down when i'm picking up the pace um 
so I think it's a fantastic shoe for that. And I think if that's what you're looking for, I think this is by far the superior shoe out of the two. But I think the Brooks Christian 20 is the, the best shoe for most people because, I, because it's just a bit more versatile. It has a more traditional feel to it. Um, the, the foam is probably more accessible to every, every type of runner. I don't think anybody's going to be annoyed or dislike the Brooks Christian 20. I think everybody will like that shoe. Whereas more V4, as you say, it's, it does have a slightly different feel to it. The, the foam is probably not as... Um, uh, impressive in some ways that as as, as um, the Brooks Collision Twenty. So for me, the more V four is my favourite one. I'm going for that, but I do think the Brooks Collision Twenty sort of t- caps out as as being the most readily accessible shoe out of the two. Yeah, it's such a well-rounded shoe, the Glycerin 20. It's got that more traditional build. It's not going to throw any major surprises at you. You're just going to really enjoy it, and it's going to do its job really well. Uh, I do, yeah, it is kind of that balance. I think the more V4 is probably the shoe I do enjoy slightly more just for pure easy runs. And for me, uh, as a runner with a rotation who's doing a varied you know, tra- training plan of lots of easy runs, faster runs, it probably fits very well for me in it, you know, with some faster shoes ahead of it. Whereas the Brooks Lister 20 would be the shoe that a lot of people would go out just buying. That's my running shoe. And it will do a better job of that um, if you're a newer runner or even experienced runner. Just wants a good cushion shoe that can handle a bit of everything the glycerin 20 probably has a bit of the edge there whereas for people like us it would still be very much the cushion shoe in our range in our rotation but it does have a little bit more pop there at times um and i think for example the brooks glycerin 20 would be a very nice marathon option for people for lots of runners whereas the more v4 feels just more like that cruiser shoe that cruiser shoe but it is really nice to cruise in you really can't underplay it. I, I don't think people would dislike it. i don't think it's an unnatural shoe or a shoe that would feel too weird to people but it, it's fair to say that both of us seem to have got into a rhythm of it very easily on every run we've done in it and maybe that isn't universally true like we you know we've we do do multi-test reviews on the run testers here, but we don't have unlimited people testing the shoe. So, you, we, but we both love the feel of it, and it just, like I say, for a big shoe, disappears in the foot. You don't get that with the Glycerin Twenty, but it does have that little bit extra in terms of responsiveness and maybe just feeling like more like what people might expect from their running shoe. Mm-hmm. 